Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in which we are using the No Step Back DLC in which right now we are not in a good position because we're at war with the Axis. Well the German Reich said hello there Lithuania we want Mamel and Mamel was like bruh not today Adolf. So Germany went to war with them and of course they were in the common turn and our big daddy government under Stalin is like Poland we gonna need you as a front line and I'm like oh god no but it shouldn't be too bad with Germany fighting Basically, the America and us and France and they're kind of alone. Oh, and oh, uh, yeah, that's right. The Allies include these guys, French and the Italians. While well, we the North American coalition with France and Czechoslovakia, the Philippines and America. <sighs> Mr. Wheelchair Man, what'd you do? What'd you do, man? Regardless, um, I've not done too much else off screen. We, we've been doing still the Polish Soviet Republic or Socialist Socialist Republic. Uh, oh. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, but we're doing... Oh, well, actually, can we actually push in and do okay here? As you can tell, the campaign's not going to be too long. I just want to make sure we can do okay-ish. Yeah, go and do the best you all can. Keep trying to sink some stuff here. Oh, we just lost one of our subs. And we'll probably lose this sub as well. Oh, boy. And I'm going to join the German Reich. So be it. Sure, America. Sure thing. Now, and do we lose a sub? Yeah. Oh, my God. We lost our subs and our uh, destroyers. Whoopsie. Oh, well, it is what it is. We need a few more trucks here, of course. Uh, can we import one rubber from British Malaya? I hope we don't lose too many more factories. Oh, and you guys are actually pushed out a little bit. That's not too bad. Uh, logistics Uno. Let's get some more entrenchment first. I, I kind of like the entrenchment here. I don't think we can really push out as much as I want to push out. Let's focus on one of these guys at a time. This front, not too bad, but at the same time, hmm. We really could use Königsberg. We could really use this tile, template, template, this tile as well first. Kind of a mess, not gonna lie. Hope Czechoslovakia doesn't die. Hope we can hold out here too. Uh, do you have any upgrades here? No. Do you have any upgrades? Yeah, you might want to go ambusher. The Germans are gonna start attacking like crazy eventually, so it's probably best to be prepared just in case. And for you guys, come over here as well and just do that. Put in a lot of effort. Uh, and you want know force attack? Screw it, just everyone just go in. If they can't get any more Ireland, oh god. Well, whatever. But I did read both Pressure for the West, as well as Soviet military staff. So let's do this one first, just because we can do those units immediately. So I think that'd be quite good. Are we getting naval invaded or something here? What's going on? Yeah, I'm doing force attack. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of guys by the same time. If they can't get an organization, that's literally all that matters. And they're popping off and dying like crazy. Sometimes you must do the unthinkable. And I wonder if we could just, like, attack here. Go, like, three tiles there and just bush and bush and push uh, war spread would not be bad war propaganda wouldn't be bad either I don't mind doing improved worker conditions or even getting war bonds right now would like to reform the commonwealth but we'll see what happens very soon 3, 2, 1 can you guys actually do well here maybe I mean, I'll have the infantry trying to help support out support you guys as much as possible too but there ain't a guarantee how well we're going to do so yeah Estonia, Finland, oh 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 hello hello now we gotta fight these guys too, which is not good. Oh, hello. Oh god, who's this now? Oh, Italy. Italy. What is Italy doing? Oh, we can't really tell. I don't want to fight them. I really don't. I'll be honest. I don't really want to fight them. But doing it in circumstance sounds really good right now. Can you go in there and win? The Portuguese Soviet War. Well, they're all part of the Axis. We've got another division encircled. Sounds pretty good to me. Why does he just all go in? Can you actually win here? I mean, I went with Ambusher, but, you know, that's still for the future as well. If you could capitulate the Germans, I'd feel pretty darn good. Real guns, railway system, commandeer tra trains. Well, we're kind of okay right now. They're literally doing force defense. Okay, that's kind of kind of wild that they're doing that already, but that's okay. We're going to get to Kustrin. Actually, we may have should have done the other one, but whatever. Uh, we're going to need some more manpower. Oh, yeah. Go to access the conscription soon. Yes, please. Especially with all these types of attacks going on. We lost 18, 19,000. We've killed off 60,000, so I'm not feeling too bad. Not too bad yet. Uh, don't worry about guarding kits and check boys. We've got other boys to do it first. You guys are all like 20 combos, which isn't bad. Another, one of the comments from yesterday included uh, uh, go with a greater Polish SSR, maybe eventually. As well as, is there a national socialism path for Poland? That's a good question. I'm not entirely sure. That'd be a lot of fun, though. It'd be a lot of fun. 30,000 losses. Keep pushing in if we possibly can. The Czechs are doing quite okay as well. 
Come on, let us grab. Ah, oh, we got Brazil. Yes. That's supply base, right? Yeah, that's supply hub. Supply base, supply hub, whatever. Same thing to me. Uh, how are the horse boys doing? Well, it's becoming an organizer and a cavalry leader as well, which is very good. Ah, we're going to Berlin. Berlin, you and me. We're going to visit Berlin and have a good old time. Fall Gibraltar. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, we do have communist Spain here, and they're with us, so actually, that's a good thing. Wait, are we fighting? No, just Portugal. Not bad, not bad. Uh, artillery? Yes, please. More millies would probably be very good. What are we missing right now? We need more anti-air. And trains. I think we can work on that. Go with anti-air. Go to, and then an armor train. Not bad. Hey, we got Berlin! The Polish juggernaut cannot be stopped. Well, would you look at that? Poland got Berlin. Now can we have our freedom back? Oh, and let's get some more manpower too. And then we'll do... Well, not Ireland, but pressure for the West. If you want to do that one again, please go ahead. But yeah, we'll, we'll take all those cores if we possibly can. Oh, crap. We're Italian Soviet War. What? What? We're fighting the Allies now? Oh my god, no. I'm not fighting the Allies. Screw that. Screw that, man. My goal is to take out Germany and then you. That's it. That's all I care about. I don't want to take out anybody else. If anything, we should be able to wipe peace. If we actually just, like, give up on fighting, uh, those allies and such. So, if anything, maybe we could join the allies. Uh, for you guys, I kind of want to wait. I do want cavalry leader. That'd be good. Well, eventually, I will probably convert you to that. But we'll see. Do we get any extra attack and defense using these guys? No. Polish Soviet Socialist Republic. We'll see what happens. Losses include 56,000 versus 115,000. Not bad. All we got to do is capitulate the German boys. That's all we got to do. Go to Lubeck. We do have some more land doctrine. Nice. Some more defense and organizations. Very good. And stop. Stop it. Stop trying to kill off the Czech boys. We don't care about the Czech boys right now. Oh, we lost it. Darn it. Well, fresh for the West. And then we'll do Soviet industrial investments. An advantage of joining the USSR is our entrance into a powerful union of states was now we have an industrial powerhouse enriching our nation with investments. Though a portion of our industry is devoted to the betterment of the USSR, the industrial investments we receive in reciprocity greatly increases our manufacturing capabilities and capacity. Oh, Hamburg's capital. That's nice. Oh. oh, look at this. Oh, those units we... Oh, nice. No, 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 not too bad. Not too bad. Infantry specialist, just in case. Get a lot of army XP, because we going to need a lot of it wherever we're headed. We're headed straight to heck. And back. It's not bad. Make more millies, probably, too. Not bad. Oh, if we could go right here, that'd be great. There we go. Right here, and you can circle these guys, maybe, or not. I already overrun them anyways, which is fine with me. This is all, literally all just so that we can get more army XP. Cavalry specialist? Eh, why not? Because we can. We can capitulate him. I know we can. Come and turn fighting the allies, which I do not want to fight the allies whatsoever. Oh, but, oh, they're fighting these guys as well. Oh, Mosley's here. Welcome aboard, Mosley. You know, they're fighting those guys over there. I'm kind of okay with that. Good luck, wheelchair man. Good luck. Not bad. Alright, so they should be much closer to col uh, collapse. 100,000 losses. We've cut off 200,000 losses. Sure, guys, we want to move through our territory. That's fine, whatever. go just in case good better engineers are nice get some better recon as well got some for air doctrine what are we making for air cast okay then thank you capitulate those hungarian boys i think i'm just gonna take all of, all of germany if we possibly can oh we no guns there we go thank you very much nice dortmund would be jolly jolly good to get Nice. We're still getting attacked. It's fine. Still racking up a whole bunch of daily army XP. Love it. Oh, Vienna's not the capital. Who's the capital? Oh, Stuttgart. 
Estonian Finland League is doing quite well as well. Manpower is doing okay. Not great, but okay. Pressure for the West would be good to get rid of some of these uh, territories that we can't really do anything with until we core them. We seem okay. Hmm. Just a little, a little politically connected for too much for me. Alright, so it might be best to have you guys wait and hold. We deploy on the front line. And get ready for a general push. You guys do the same sort of idea, though. If anything, I want you to strike through the center here. And get ready to push as well. Get some better anti-air, thank you very much. Get some better artillery as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Doing okay if you're still here. And next we're going to grab no one here, because there's no one there. And we're industrialists, patriotic socialist. Are we still getting some more daily? Yeah, we are getting some daily stuff there. Damage garrisons goes down. Revolutionary, captain of industry, Polish arms, and might as well, why not? Nice. Vorpalmen, oh, hello, who's next? Well, I mean, we already were fighting them. I'm not sure how it's going to be any different for us right now, but whatever. So we're really out of guns. Lots and lots of guns. That kind of sucks. Can you guys actually go there, maybe? And do well? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Sure, America. Why not? He's almost an organizer and an infantry leader as well. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Go ambush her. That'd be good as well for you. Uh, can you just do like a generic attack? That would be pretty costly. It's pretty mixed air, though. Pretty mixed overall. Um, are we winning anywhere along this front? Why are the Soviets doing anything? Oh, they sort of are, but not enough. They went up. They went up here. I'm concerned more about the green than the actual red, just because the green is going to help us out here. And the green will help us push over into their land, so. Like, when here we can. Oh! Okay. A little different. I wasn't expecting that. For places like here, I want us to win as well. Hold. So, Axis, Allies... Oh, the Covington's all around here, too. Oh, Romania joined, too! This world is turning out very weird. Very, very weird world we have here. Uh, war bonds wouldn't be bad. Yeah, don't worry about attacking just yet. I mean, if you guys want to try attack you, that's fine. We've got enough allies here to help hold the line anyway, so that's okay. Um, you guys should do okay if you do this. Three divisions here might be able to win as well. Three, go with that one next. So after this one, I kind of did, like I said earlier, I am doing it in the past, but someone didn't want me to go down the greater Polish SSR. Which wouldn't be bad. We're going to establish a socialist economy next. And a capitalist economy. Capital exists to serve the elites. With socialist non-government, we must repurpose the economy to serve the needs of the peasants who have bled for this revolution. Not bad. Definitely doing okay down here now. Come on in. Come on in. If you can. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we actually did break over. Look at that. Nice. We have a single tank division. Someone is moving around here. You want to break over? Ah, just because we want you to move doesn't mean you should move, man. Uh, nope. I don't care about them right now. They are not of my concern. Nice. Couple, about a week left for that. It's not too bad. And it says we can do well, so we'll try it again. Stuttgart should fall this time around. I could be very wrong about that, but that should fall. There you go, too. Oh, the rock is gone. We won. Cool. So, of course, we have Pelos Peaks, conferences on, Königsberg, cores, cores. Take at least everything that has cores here. 
scores. Of course. I don't think any of this has scores, right? Yeah, that's right. That's cool. Canada's social... Popular state, not social state, but popular state, huh? Free France. You have this to Spain as well. Czechoslovakia. You're gonna grab... Hungary. That's gonna look very awkward, but whatever. Uh, USSR gets all this as well. And I guess we'll take all states, just because... I want to make them a pop, but, but we can't become a puppet of ourselves, which is kind of weird, but whatever. So now we gotta deal with this. I let you guys go down towards Italy. And if we work in conditions, because you can. Oh, we're out of stuff? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh, we got more guns now. Look at that. If we can conquer Paris, that'd be great, too. The Polish People's Republic is looking very nice. Czechoslovakia does look like it has a lump. Like a lump at the bottom, like a big old dump lump. Uh, so we have industrial investments, not bad. So it's just economy. Like I did say, I did, I do want to go down this path, but someone did want me to go down the Greater Polish SSR. So yeah, we'll see what happens very soon. Um, Anti-air upgrade is very nice. It's almost not even ahead of time, so we might as well do that now, anyways. Um, what do we want to do? Lower class education. For too long, access to education has been gate kept by wealth and privilege but under socialism one's personal possession of capital becomes irrelevant to the education system how are we doing against the Italians okay-ish not great-ish definitely okay-ish how about you what are you learning here organizer cavalry leader good stuff like that and then we'll set these guys to uh, just kind of gear some ports and stuff like that I think that'd be very beneficial for us because the goal is to unite all of our areas under the common turn here I'm not sure we're really going to take out the allies, or at least, yeah, the allies up here, because that, we don't have, we literally don't have ships. We have Canada, though. Who are they by? You're not Trudeau. Tim Buck. Who the heck is Tim Buck? Tim Buck 2? Ah, yeah. Vince Canada regulations. Communist ideals. Uh, trade fleet. We got De Gauss ship holes. We got patri patriation. Conscription crisis among the French Canadians. Those old guys in Great Depression. Oh, they're still depressed. Well, aren't we all? There you go. Well, we're just de definitely trying to move down here. Definitely want you guys to keep trying to move around here, too. Because this guy's actually a pretty good general right now. But we're moving very quickly through France, or what was France. Bro, you cancel the lease? We're going to die now. Oh, that's not good, too. That's really not good. Guys, can you help us out? Or are we, we going to lose everything here? We're probably going to lose everything here. Okay. Okay, oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it's weird how everything just worked out for us in the end. So, oh, hello. Oh, we can raise our autonomy. Oh, we can become a dominion. Oh, we are dominion right now. Actually, what does that do for us? If we wanted, like, the greater Polish SSR, I'll get cores, because there's one of these things that allows us to become a colony. Or maybe we already did that one. Likely to war with the Soviet Union. Yeah, probably not. Um, well, enforce Baltic Socialism. Dismantle capitalist empires. Interesting. Oh, more civvies. Nice. We need more guns? What do we need? Close air support. Makes sense. Um, there's no one we can really grab that'll give us all that good stuff that we do need, so we'll go right there. Ah, uh, gotta love it. How are we doing it against the Italians? Doing okay-ish? Let's go right there. Cut them off. Hey, we've almost synced up with the people down in Spain. Very nice. Looking pretty good. The fall oh, that was, oh, that's not good for Nanjing, but whatever. Another horse daddy? We like our horse daddies here. We love our horse girls, too. Hmm, weird to say, but whatever. Ah, uh, I guess we go down there. Take the airbase away. Take Turin. That'd be nice. Nice no, nice no more. Did we, are we touching them? Not quite. We're super close to touching the Spanish. Yeah, lower class education would be pretty good too. Nice. Get get those breasts. Get breasts. We love breasts here. Hello. Ah, uh, you can do FG expert. Oh, you're you're a cavalry. Oh, cavalry specialist. Huh. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, whatever. Doing okay here too. Uh, you might want to help out, maybe. Better fuel is always good. Grab some more better casts. Some more better casts. That's improper English. But then again, we're playing as a Polish nation here, so it doesn't matter. And we have finally started touching the Spanish. We've done it. Yes. Jolly good. These guys are taking a while to take out too, but whatever. You now join the People's Front. Very good. Actually, if you just force the attack, you will just be able to push them out of the way. Very good. Uh... Long Yoon. I've never heard of Long Yoon before. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Abolish discriminatory recruitment. The Committee of National Liberation. We are in a precarious situation. Trap is between Germany and Russia, subject to the imperialist machinations. With the establishment of the Committee of National Liberation, all besieged Poles will have a central authority to organize resistance activities. Not a bad idea. If you want, you just come down here and go right there, if possible. Maybe move fast enough. Oh, we can move fast enough. Oh, that's sad. Maybe forced it again. You, I mean, you should be able to beat him up anyways, but still. Hey, the circumstance. Nice job, laddies. Which is probably what they also don't say in Poland, but whatever. Keep killing them. If they're British, they gotta die. Sure, guys. Sure. Ah, there goes Italy too. We're in a very red world here. North American coalition is really weird to have there. We have Mongolia. Oh, we don't have these guys either. Oh, we're fighting these guys as well. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Not too concerned about it. Um, since we're public, we can't really go to war with anybody, can we? Yeah. Uh, maybe you guys? I mean, then again, we do need to set up this whole thing here. I really prefer them to have as a pop of whatever. It's too late now. Lock it. Oh, God. Well, time to come over here, too. Oh, look. What Afghanistan join the Malays? What are we down here, too? That's a very red Greece. The Union of Greek Soviet Republics. We got lucky that everyone went, went red that we really cared about. We did get sort of lucky here. Our master called us in. Yeah, pretty typical. Actually. Ooh, are we getting daily autonomy? That would be too bad. After lower class education. I mean, we don't go this route. I mean, it's pretty much over. Fall of livestock. Just because, I mean, I, I want to do this stuff, but it requires anti-imperialism. And we can't do anti-imperialism because it requires the Polish path of socialism. So we're pretty much, we're literally already locked out of this. Um, Even if we do independence, it looks like... Yeah, we're pretty much... It looks like we can't do it, just because this this does say it requires anti-imperialism. So, I could be wrong. It looks like you can go down here, but maybe you can't. So, the Polish path to socialism. Obviously, we can't go that, down this way this time, so... Yeah. Abolish discriminatory recruitment. Polish Catholics are disproportionately overrepresented over in our armed forces due to the policy, policies of the nation. Moving forward, we shall give any patriot or socialist willing to turn his gun against fascism. Yay, land option! Would y'all like to go in and have a good time? Do the best y'all can. Excavation trace. Get some better gun stuff, please. Thank you. And if we struggle here a little bit, then it is what it is. I would like, like my territories back, though. Someone did make a comment that this is somewhat similar to uh, how Czechoslovakia can just give up their lands for, like, just to stay alive to the Germans, so yeah, it's pr pretty darn similar to that. Come on, horse boys. Oh, we cut these guys off anyways. That should be fine. Right? Right. There you go, go in. Yep, cut them off. Watch out, we're finding the Indians now. Watch out, old guard. No, thank you. Gun ready efficiency? Sure. Establish socialist economy? Yes, please. Dominion. 287. Is it going to go up any higher? Yes, it is. Oh, every day. So we're contributing war score? Oh, that's because we're... Oh, that's how we're doing it. It's not bad. Ah, screw it. Train. Did we win yet? Oh, what are you guys doing here? Anything? Level 5? Not bad. Combine arms. At least you get blitzes. I mean, I want more defense, but I prefer getting some of these tactics done as well. Yeah, if you guys just do this, you'll be fine. Because you literally can't move until you die, so... Well, they joined North American... I thought they were in the North American Coalition. 
Well, a lot of horses are going to die. Then again, a lot of Latvians are going to die here too, because they can't get any more organization back. Because they literally cannot move. Feels good when they squirm inside you. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, planes. Yeah, we got more than enough guns. We can load this by 154. There you go. And there goes Latvia. Alright, so where we are we next? Just make sure we don't fight America. And we're not going to come down here because supplies are going to be really bad, probably. Um, how bad is supply? Not that bad. Screw it. We're going down to Afghanistan. Nothing like sending Polish horses to die in the Afghan mountains. Something I think I would have never said before. Um, war support. That's okay. Political power. Dem daily democracy support. We don't really need any more political power, though. Non-core manpower. Group of population factor. The damage garrisons goes down. Well, the non-core manpower kind of mitig is mitigated by the group of population. Damage garrisons go down. That could be pretty useful as well. So. Effect of total manpower modified 105%. Not bad. Could use more fuel, though. And who's just fine on us? Spain. 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 What are you doing? How did the Soviet Union get this group? Oh. Warp in the dependence. Well, that's not good. This will lead to war. Well... Huh. I guess they're already down here, huh? These are fast. It's almost like they're riding horses or something. Well, as long as they don't want to try to kill us, I'm kind of okay with it, but whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I'm some stupid divisions there, too. Uh, France is in whose coalition? North American coalition. It's fine. It's fine as well. You can continue garrisoning some of the ports just because we will need some garrisons because it's not going to look very good very soon here. Of course, getting involved will help us out as well just because it gives more autonomy. Uh, autonomy is pretty important. Pretty important. 1.75 political power every single day is not too bad. And of course, up next will be the Committee of National Liberation, once again, so. Everyone read this, please go ahead. Better fighters, yes, please. And do we want to trade for rubber? No, because we won't get what we really deserve, so. We gotta wait. That sucks. Horse boys, what do we have on you? You're only 10 combo with. Okay, that's not really good at all. Okay. Go horses. G horses. Uh, anti tank. Do we have any anti tank? Do we have any support logistics? Yeah, become a little thicker. Uh, that's all we can support. God dang it. Um, a little better logistics, yes. More horses. I don't want to just attack all willy nilly, so. Honestly, if you guys could attack here and win, that'd be great. Or you guys could go here and do that. And circle those guys, that wouldn't be too bad either. Not bad. Not too shabby, I would say. A in a circlement. Beautiful, my friends. Could you guys actually win if you just decided just to go in? I mean, we did give them a little more strength. And here we go. Spanish Independence War. Can I do, we are subject. We can go to war. Can we join your wars? There we go. Now we move on in. Cool. All right, we're down two. What? Wait, what? They joined the Benelux. What the heck? What the garbage? Why? This is a messed up world, man. It's incredibly messed up. I almost regret going down to Afghanistan. Almost, not quite though. We could force the attack. We're okay. Little bit more strength. There you go. Well, you guys are doing okay around here. Um, I need you up here at the top. Is Belgium not? No, they're not. Okay. Interesting. They'll probably join soon, but still. Alrighty. Well, there goes Luxembourg. Why 
Watch out, the world power known as Luxembourg is trying to kill us off. We're bonded up. I don't mind making more roads though. It's nice. Good, good, good. Come over here. Do that too. Better cast, thank you. Hey, good job, Luxembourg is gone. As they completely deserve to be. And Spain is dying too, which is which they deserve to be as well. Wow, we were really pushing for Amsterdam. Wait, we already own it. Okay, that's weird. It's such a weird world we have, man. You're doing really great down here, though. How are we doing in Afghanistan? Probably not great. Oh, there goes the Dutch. That was really easy to get. Can we... Lead the minor democracies. Well, you kind of failed, son. Next line. Now we're kind of stuck in here in Afghanistan as well. How much manpower do they have? Oh, are they with the Japanese? They have some manpower. Huh. Alrighty. Up next. Railway guns, if we can support them. We're not doing so well down here. We're going to hold. I don't want to defend Afghanistan, so... Oh, there's Pakistan. But there are in a two-front war. But supplies are really bad around here. I'm not going to build up their supply base. Screw that. We're leaving. We're going home. Um, well, which, which is what I would say if we didn't have anything else to do down there. There's 1940. More research speed because we can. Hmm. It is looking particularly bad around here. Supplies. There are no supplies. Actually, we build this up in their base. That could help them out quite a bit, right? So. They're built up in our overlord. Mm, can you please go to war with Belgium? Please. Please. Okay, so we're now getting better. That's better. Dominion, not bad. It should be going up by quite a bit more, especially since we are taking more enemy territory. We are building in the Overlord. All the good stuff. But after this one, of course, Armia Ludova. We cannot outgun foreign imperialists, but we can organize leftist militants who are willing to die in the stru struggle regardless. By establishing the Armia Ludova as a military arm of our party, we will ensure to always have an army loyal to the ambitions of a socialist revolution. But can we do a greater SSR Polish SSR to see what happens? So, we have by now proven ourselves useful to the USSR. Oh. Oh crap, we won. Okay, well, since we won, we'll give you the Dutch East Indies. You can have all that. I'm going to take all the, the Benelux, because why not? And uh, you can have all Spain. There you go. For ourselves, the USSR, it would be prudent to request that control of Eastern Poland be returned to our nation with some compensation for the great services we provided for the revolution. I mean, it only makes sense, does it not? You're welcome. You got Spain back. All because of me. Honestly, at this point, can we just, like... I just kind of want to kill off some another nation, but we're not... No. If anything, you're going to be fighting these guys eventually, too, maybe. There go the Philippines. I just want to kill off the Belgians. I'm sorry, Taki Senpai's, uh, you know, ancestors, but still. How are we doing? How are we doing? How's the supply base coming along? Um, actually, that's the case. Let's do the supply base one from the Commonwealth. Uh, we don't have any more. God dang it. How bad is attrition here? Oh, it's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Sure, America. Come on through. Well, let's see if we can do this one. It's going to take us some time, but that's okay. Is there anywhere else we can do anything here? Supplies are just so bad. Like, I don't understand why the AI is not making more supply bases. Let's go home. I think we've done really well with it for this war so far. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Hopefully, the Soviet Union will give us what we want. I hope we can make the supply bases. But of course, there are no guarantees. The Soviet Union returns Eastern Poland. Eastern Poland has been returned as a core part of the Polish People's Republic already. The territories are being reintegrated with Polish administration, and the region which was so vital in overthrowing the old regime has been reunited with the state its people fought for. Our nation is whole again. Not bad. Basically, we ended up with conquering Germany, some of the Benelux, Austria, and most of Italy in this campaign. But we're, of course, doing Armidi, Armia. 
Armia Ludova. Um, I think you heard this one earlier, so if you read this again, please read ahead. But yeah, I can't outgun for Imperialists, but can organize leftist militants who are willing to die in the struggle regardless. Very nice. Honestly, after this, there's not really much else we can do. Um, like I said, we go down this route, and, uh, well, we can't enforce Baltic Socialism, because we, there's no point to. The Estonia's gone. Finland with... Estonia, Finland's gone. Um, Latvia died, because they're in the Allies. Lithuania's already in the Baltics, uh, you know, the common turn. Um, I would like to do the anti-capitalist revolution eventually, but we'll have to do the anti-imperialism focus eventually. But, I'll set up, set this up another time, to try out Polish communism. I want to at least see what it was like. We opened the Polish Colonial League. Huh. So that's how they get Liberia. Invite Romania to the Pact. Commonwealth of Socialist Republics. That seems kind of cool. Dismantle fascist empires. Dismantle the Soviet Empire. That'd be really cool in the end to do as well, but yeah. Um, I've already read, I've done through all of these before. I don't think I've done every single one of them before, but... A lot of this stuff is just naval stuff, which is okay. I mean, it's not bad, but nothing, nothing too radical here. And I've never actually done the prepare for the inevitable because we never lose. Like we, we usually don't lose at least on this channel. Sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't. So like, is there? I'm pretty sure this route would be like one of the rarest routes you could, you would see. Um, just period, just because you try not to lose too often. Um. Yeah, with 50% resistance in Polish states, you gain access to the Warsaw Uprising operation after completing the Make Resistance Context operation. Cyclometer, more decryption speed, and the Bomba. Interesting. But yeah, uh, I just want to see what this last focus does, if it does anything for us, and then we'll maybe call it a campaign, just because there's not much else, except Polish nukes. Also, we did return the horses back to us here. Um, we're literally just kind of training around Belgium right now. I, I wouldn't mind it if we could become free. Uh, can we actually build in their... We are building their territory, right? Yeah, Kabul... What if we went kind of radical here, and went from here, all the way up to here, because we could. Because we could. And we could build up our allies here as well, as well as right here, to help out with supply issues. Because we're no longer down here. I, I, I gave up on Afghanistan, as most people should. Uh, not trying to get political here, but like, Afghanistan is Afghanistan, and... Who likes Afghanistan? But yeah, Dominion-wise, uh, 550, we're going to jump up to 551, probably? 51, yeah. Subject exporting to Overlord. Subject contributing to War Score Factor. Of course, the Master Impact versus our own country. Um, overall, not too bad. This path doesn't have a lot of routes, but that's okay. That means that we can go move on to another uh, route eventually. What the heck happened down here? Wow. Uh, this is looking really ugly down here, not gonna lie. Very ugly. I wish we could go to war with Belgium. I just want to go to war with Belgium. Can we actually. How, how much would it cost to be independent, though? Uh, actually, we almost have the political power needed for it. It's. Actually, which is kind of nice, but that's yeah, fine, whatever. But yeah, the Comptron has done really well in this timeline so far. Apparently, North American Coalition, once again, we have the Benelux, but now it's, well, it used to be the Benelux, but now it's just the B. Or the B. B, B, B. B, 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 B. And we have North American Coalition with Mexico. We have Ca Canada and the Comptron, those goddamn commie Calif Californians? No, Canadians. The People's Front. What is this? Oh, this, this must be China. I played China again. I played China relatively recently as well. But, like, that was before the whole uh, No Step Back came out. So, I really want to see what it's like. She plays Japan again. Try to take out the Chinese with all the supply issues that they do have. Of course, they went non aligned, but they still joined the uh, Allied uh, or the Axis Path. What, 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 yeah, they're not. They're in the, they're in the Allies for some god awful reason. Oh, let's see. Let's look at this division. So, they're 18 combat with, with guns. That's literally it. That is not ideal. But, that's pretty much this tree, literally, as much as you can do going down this route. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.